<laughs> so I phoned to Smitty's house and we have gotten here to Woodward and we have brought the airbag and a takeoff that him and his old man has built. Today is day number one of our trip across the East Coast. Well, kind of across the East Coast. We're starting here at Woodward East in Pennsylvania, Roman Atwood's house in Ohio, off to Pastrana's house for Bold Cut Academy, and then finishing it off in North Carolina, and then off to Glamour. So today we are starting off with a step up onto the roof, and then a drop off off a roof, off the canteen roof. Got the new camera, still trying to figure it out, so I apologize if the filming isn't the best. We're gonna set up and pretty much just have a great time on this trip, see what we can come up with. As Smitty would say, we're gonna get healthy. Healthy bears. And just have some fun with this airbag and, and have a good time. So I hope you guys enjoy what we can come up with over the next couple of days. Hopefully, we no, not hopefully, we are gonna stay safe and have a good time on the road. Got the kicker. This is a six foot ramp with a 10, 10 radius. 10 foot radius, yeah. Ten, with a 10, 10 foot radius. Uh, Smitty's got his beautiful beast in the back. We have a generator that can power a house. Of course, that is to blow up our beautiful DD airbag in the back. Shout out to Smitty's parents for helping us on this trip with the, with the beautiful car and the trailer. Smitty, you excited? I am so excited. Mom and Dad hooked this all up. They got the trailer hitch on it. They got new brakes put on it. They got us all dialed in. And now we're here. We're going to send it. We're going to jump onto a roof. Oh, bro, it wasn't filming. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick scope of the setting of what the plan is. First time I came to Woodward, I was 15 years old. I stayed in cabin number one. And that's where this whole journey began. And seven, 17 years later, probably 12 years later, I've come back. I haven't been to Woodward East in about six years, so it's super awesome to come back and be on this trip with Smitty. But uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set the ramp up here at the bottom, jump on top of the roof, ride across the roof, and then... Airbag is going to be here at the bottom of the canteen. Time to unload the trailer, set it up. Wish us luck. So we just come up on top of the roof to check it out just in case it's not sturdy enough, but it seems pretty solid. Step up. If I break there. Right down here, which is, should be okay. I think it'll work. You feel okay about it? Yeah, I think it'll work fine. I will say I'll take it for the team and I'll do that first. But we got a nice long run in, which is good. And then we will come across this roof. We need to get a sticker up here to put on the roof to know where we're gonna drop. Whoa. That's a pretty big drop. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, you think it's a good idea to jump off a lot eight, so we might as well start here, right? <laughs> so it's probably about, I'm going to say a 16 feet drop. So the plan is we'll put the bag down here uh, so we can do the step up and ride directly straight off into the bag. First thing of the day is pretty gnarly, but we've come on this trip to do some crazy things and get good content for you guys. We're gonna make it happen. Let's go set up. I don't wanna be trying to like aim up from like a weird angle and not being able to see it and have it be blind and then just kind of hoping you're gonna land on the bag. I would much rather have it be you come up and just know that if you like line up with the, that guy right there, that you're like, oh, perfect, you're getting on it. Am I lined up? <laughs> Do you want me to say, lower yourself down a little bit more? Ow. Am I lined up? Yeah, dude. Smitty's old man has put wheels on this thing. Absolute genius. Oh, I just crushed my thumb. Ow. <laughs> it just, just, it rolled back in between the, uh, the railing. Ow. 
I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's a little slippery. Yeah. I think, I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident with that. Um, I think I'll let you try it first. <laughs> It's a pretty good angle. It is a very good angle. I'm just not sure how fast I want to hit it. Right. Fast. <laughs> fast. Dude, it's just, it's, it's pretty, like, worst case scenario if you kiss. Brown. I'm, I'm honestly very, I'm super happy with the step up. I was a little bit nervous when we were putting it in. But, I mean, that's, it's only probably about a four, about a five foot gap up to the roof. And because it's so high, we're not going to come down super hard. So we're definitely not going to go through the roof. Thank you, Woodward Camp, for letting us uh, be creative and jump onto your roofs. Promise we won't break anything. As I said before, Smitty, there's a little gift that I brought for you on this trip. Oh, I'm so stoked. And you're about to find out what it is. Yes. We'll unwrap the gift. Let me see this. <laughs> wow, this thing is awesome. Are you ready for this, Brandon? Yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> ready? Let's see it. Oh, what is that? Oh! <laughs> we got a healthy bag. DD airbags and healthy. Wow, it's hot. You, you went to a lot of effort to organize the car, the trailer, the ramp. We got a big healthy logo on there. Let's get into it. Thank you so much, Todd. That is amazing. No worries, wow. Dude. Awesome, that came out so good, dude. Let's do this. Oh, wow. I'm excited, I'm excited for this thing. Wow, it goes up fast. And then the, the really good thing about this bag, is you see when it's blown up, but if you want to make it softer, oh, yeah. then you can just open the vent. So for this, because we're coming off such a high drop, we're gonna open up one of the vents so there's a little bit of him. Oh, that's a great idea. Dude, it's perfect. 100%, I'm Let's, so uh, stoked to do this. I just, so we've just come back onto the roof to uh, scope out where we're gonna drop off into the bag. I brought up a couple of markers with me. I mean, it's still a pretty scary drop. But I got some motivation with the healthy sign. Pretty narrow little gap, but it makes it more interesting. So you plan to go right there into the into the ramp? Well, I mean, I'll just be happy if I survive dropping off. So if I just, I'm not too worried about hitting the side of things, that would keep it fun. Living on the edge, <laughs> literally. Just brought a couple of markers just so we know where to drop off. So we know that's there. And then, I mean, we'll put it in a little closer, right? So pretty much, as Travis would say, don't go left. <laughs> or is it no right turns? No left, no left turns. No right turns? No right turns. How are you feeling about it? I feel pretty good. I, I think I'm more concerned about just this step up, just because I'm not quite sure how fast to hit that at. But now looking at this, this is seriously just like, just a big drop, you just roll off. And it's gonna have like no impact because that bag is perfect, so. There's, I mean, there's nothing else left to do. Send it. Smitty securing the ramp with the buckets of concrete. Might need a couple of them to harden up today. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Let's see, test it. Let's do it. It, di it didn't move at all, it didn't rock or anything. Who's gonna go for it? Yeah. Yeah. You get it, Tony. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, Todd. <laughs> you landed like up there. <laughs> really. I mean, you told me to go as fast as I can. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, 
this is honestly one of the things I don't want to do more than once. I don't like waiting on things. Get it. Oh my god, that was way scarier than James's house. First one out of the way, but we're gonna try and just do it as one solid clip on and off. So Todd just manned up and went for it, and it worked perfect. Like, first go. How scary was that? Was it like terrible? Okay, apparently it's really, really scary. I mean, if this is my first time jumping to this, is this a good, good attempt? Yeah, it's hotty. I think it's your turn, Smitty. My turn. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm, I just, I'm more skept sketched about this. Is this pretty easy? This is the easiest thing. That's the easiest? That's hard. How fast do you go at this? Slow. Slow? Oh yeah, real slow. As, as, as for speed, I was just going slow. And I'm not the best at doing gap drop, so honestly, I cranked off. So you just honestly, just if you were to go, if you were to go straight from here, uh -huh. and just go. At the end of the day, it's to an airbag, man. Yeah. So Smitty is uh, just over at Outdoor Street, just practicing some drops right now. It's warming up. He hasn't ridden yet today pretty happy to have not fallen off yet first task out of the way smitty's up super excited to see smitty send it right now Woo! you'll be fine man you've got it dude yeah, just tiny a second. Woo! Yes! Oh my god, Todd! That's so crazy! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Bro, that was so scary rolling up to the edge. I get what mountain bikers feel like now. Like, that is terrifying. Yes, dude! Wow! <laughs> Brandon wants to do it again. I'm done on this. I'm super happy with what we got done. Trying to survive this trip as we've started off on a crazy one. And film Brandon again and then move on to the next thing. Yes, Smitty! Yeah! You got it, Smitty. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I need to go faster. Yeah, a little faster. need to lay here for probably 10-15 minutes. Yeah, I just, uh, I kind of gave it a little bit too much on that, looped out, and then caught my back and butt just like right on the asphalt. 
and it knocked the wind out of me, but I'm gonna try to get up now and see. Okay guys, so we got a little bit too healthy today. Um, on the roof drop, I went a little too far and looped out and from a two-story drop, took it to my butt right on cement and uh, ended up breaking my sacrum. I don't think it's a bad break, just a, a fracture, but it makes it almost impossible to put any pressure on my butt sitting down. I literally broke my ass today. For now, I'm going to just heal up a little bit tonight, and then tomorrow we're on our way to Roman, Atwood, Roman Atwood's house to uh, go film some more there. So I think I might unfortunately be out for the riding, but I'm still going to film, we're still going to get healthy, and uh, yeah, going to keep getting you guys some content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.